All right, guys, today we're going to be checking out 30 OG Fortnite things that unless you are a serious, serious Fortnite OG, you will never remember. Now, these are everything from OG meme strats, ways items used to work, to things that almost no one remembers were even in the game. Now, I've obviously been playing Fortnite since before season one was even a thing, and even I had to remind myself that some of these existed. All right, now we're going to jump in with item number one, which are the OG launch pads. Now, these things were weird for a lot of reasons because not only did they work entirely differently to the ones today in the sense that you had two different kinds, one which would launch you up and one which would launch you horizontally, but also they didn't take up an entire block. You had to pick a corner of a floor to place them on. Now, these were actually vaulted all the way back in chapter one, season one, and there's probably a pretty good reason for that. Number one, the way they fit onto a building grid felt kind of strange, but also the way you activated them felt super inconsistent. I used to use these a lot with Lockie when we were trying to sky base as a way to get down. And uh, unfortunately, a lot of the time, they, they just seem to not work. Now, moving on to number two, this is another one that we used to use a lot for some pretty fun memes, which is the fact that quad crashes used to be able to fly infinitely. Now, even when they were added back in chapter three, we were able to use quad crashes to rotate pretty long distances. But when they were first released, people found out you could actually use quads to fly not only across the entire map, but actually stay airborne for an infinite amount of time. Because funnily enough, vehicles back then didn't have fuel either. Now, this was a super fun thing to do, whether or not you just wanted to fly from one side of the map to the other, or whether or not you wanted to try and use it to rotate all the way into the end of the game without touching the ground. However, unfortunately, you would build up some pretty crazy speed, and it was pretty easy for this to go very, very wrong. All right, now number three is a meme strat that you definitely would never get away with these days. Number one, because traps have been vaulted, but also number two, because players back in the OG Fortnite days were way less suspect of people trying to meme them. Now, loot tunnel traps were pretty simple. You would simply build a box, put a trap on the roof, and then dump an absolute ton of loot on the ground to lure people in to try and pick up. And Honestly, while you look at this today and think that no one's ever gonna fall for it, trust me, back in the day, this was shockingly effective. And speaking of traps that were a really good way to bait people in, number four is probably one of my favorites, which is the trap tower. Now, this was probably one of the most spectacular ways to get an epic victory royale. You would put a launch pad at the bottom of a tall tower and then hide at the top, normally in the final circle with one player left. Now, when launch pads first came out, people couldn't wait to jump on them whenever they saw them. And when this worked properly, people would run up to the trap tower, jump on and go absolutely flying into a group of traps that you had hidden at the top of this building. And honestly, when it worked to get you the victory royale, it looked amazing. Now, speaking of meme strats that actually worked, number five might be one of the most effective hide and seek strategies that we ever had. And also, it was one of the first ones that was ever tried. Now, when the first gravestone area of the map was added, people figured out pretty fast that you could use the Valentine's Day skin of the gargoyle to go into the graveyard and hide as one of the many statues around there. Now, again, back in the day, people were not looking for meme strats, which meant that this had an almost 100% success rate. You were literally invisible. Now, I don't know if you'd get away with this these days, but honestly, this was one of the first times we all realized that the possibility of memes in Fortnite was almost endless. Now, number six, speaking of amazing ways to hide, I believe the first video of this next meme strat was actually done by Loki, and this was hiding inside mushrooms. Now, the chapter one map had a huge number of large human-sized mushrooms all around the map, especially around Salty Springs. And people figured out that if you put on the yellow colored raptor skin and then crouch down inside one of these mushrooms, you became effectively invisible. Now, again, luring people in with this strat and watching them be absolutely jump scared when you launched yourself out of a mushroom to shotgun them in the face, 
one of the most satisfying OG Fortnite moments we have. And speaking of broken things in Fortnite Chapter 1, I reckon one of the craziest had to be that there used to be no cap on the amount of explosive ammo you could carry. Now, obviously, these days, we're limited to holding only 12 rockets in reserve. But back in Chapter 1, you could literally have 999 ammo per squad member. Now, this meant if you had enough RPGs or enough explosive weapons, you could effectively continue launching these at an enemy until they had nothing left. And being absolutely pinned down by a full squad that is repeatedly reloading and launching RPGs at you has got to be one of the most terrifying and frustrating OG Fortnite experiences. Luckily, Epic realized this was a problem and we don't have to get traumatized by it any longer. Now, probably one of the most famous broken things in the history of Fortnite has got to be the double pump. This was another one that Fortnite patched very quickly, but for those of you who don't remember, you used to be able to change very quickly back and forward between two different pump shotguns and fully avoid the reload time. This allowed you to fire the weapon almost so quickly that you'd be able to eliminate someone before they even realized they were being shot. Now, while this did lead to some pretty amazing 1v4 clutch moments that some really skilled players managed to pull off, I think most players agreed it was definitely kind of broken and definitely a good one for Epic to remove. Now, speaking of things we haven't seen in Fortnite in a very long time and something I don't think we're going to be getting back, it's the smoke grenade. Now, this was added a little bit later in the game, but it was also vaulted extremely quickly, and I very much doubt Epic's going to be bringing it back because there were a huge number of ways you could use this to really traumatize and confuse your enemies. All right, now, number 10 has got to be one of my favorite OG Fortnite moments, and I think I might have been one of the first people to make a video on it. Now, back in the day when an airdrop was coming down from the sky, you could actually crouch beneath it and it would completely cover you up. Meaning that when a poor unsuspecting player came by to open the airdrop, it would explode open. And when they're expecting to see some amazing loot, what they're actually going to find is you sitting there crouched with a pump shotgun, ready to take them out. Now, this was another one that Epic fixed very, very quickly. And honestly, I personally wouldn't mind if they brought it back. Now, while the smoke grenade might have been one of the most useless items in the game, this next item was definitely one of the most OP things to ever exist in Fortnite when it first dropped. And that is the Boogie Bomb. Now, these days, the Boogie Bomb is pretty balanced and not too crazy. But for those OGs who remember, when this item was first added to the game, it would make you dance for a full 15 seconds, and you would continue to dance even once someone started shooting at you. Now, what this meant is that if someone managed to Boogie Bomb you while being close enough, they could essentially stand there, laugh at you, and slowly start taking you out while you were completely defenseless. No building, no returning fire. This item was literally a death sentence. All right, now number 12 is actually a specific moment from a friend of mine, Creator, and he managed to hit what I think was one of the most infamous Deagle clips from chapter one. Cray was stuck in a pretty tough situation against what was almost a full squad, and with just three or four clicks of his mouse, he managed to get some of the craziest RNG Deagle headshots you have ever seen. Honestly, I feel like I could watch this clip again and again. All right, for number 13 is one of my favorite mistakes that Epic has ever made. And that is that they forgot to remove vending machines in the high explosive custom game mode. Now, what this meant is we were able to find vending machines that distributed balloons and then use those balloons to float high above the battleground and watch everyone struggle to try and direct hit us with RPG. Now, obviously, trying to get a direct hit on someone who's floating 100 meters above you with a bunch of balloons is almost impossible. And when the zone started getting small and we started raining stink grenades onto them, this was probably one of my most favorite and spectacular victory royales of all time. Now, obviously, miniguns these days are still pretty terrifying, and the spray and pray meta has never been something that people in Fortnite really enjoy. But for those OGs that remember, when the minigun was first added to the game, it had no overheat function, meaning that if you had 999 ammo on your minigun, you could hold down the fire button for as long as you wanted. Meaning, yes, you could literally keep spraying someone's builds until they completely ran out. So for those of you who think the spray and pray meta is traumatizing today, 
trust us. The OGs had it worse. Now, number 15 definitely wasn't as OP as a minigun without a cooldown, but it has to be one of the most spectacular ways to eliminate people back in chapter one. Now, again, a lot of these strats really came down to the fact that people weren't suspecting memes at this time. And I reckon one of the funniest things to do was to build a giant wooden bridge over a huge chasm rig both sides up with C4, and then hide in a bush as you waited for a squad to go by. Then when the squad tries to cross, you simply hit the detonate button and watch them fall spectacularly. And this wasn't the only fun thing you could do with C4 because number 16 was the C4 trolley. Now, obviously, whenever a new item got added to the game, we tried our hardest to find ways to break it. And I reckon one of the funnest, although not necessarily the most effective, was putting a bunch of C4 on a trolley and trying to launch it towards our enemies. Now, obviously, this is kind of a bit of a throwback to the C4 car that was so famous in Battlefield. And while it might not have been as effective in Fortnite, it was definitely a lot of fun. All right, number 17 was using the guided missile launcher to self-rocket ride. Now, when this item was added to the game, it was already pretty broken but people figured out pretty quickly some even more creative things you could do with it. Now, there are a number of ways to pull this off, but people basically figured out that you could rocket ride yourself by steering this thing in a full circle, bringing it back, and picking your own character up. Now, you could use this to get some of the most spectacular eliminations in all of Fortnite, and honestly, some of the wins I saw people get with this kind of amazing. Now our next one, number 18, also involves the guided missile launcher, but in my opinion, this was even crazier. Now I believe this was first discovered by Noah J456, but he showed that you could actually chain guided missiles continuously to continue rocket riding to unlimited distances. And remember, there were no limits on explosive ammo. So when I say unlimited, I, I pretty much mean it. Now, I ended up actually using this to chain a series of insane jumps all the way from one side of the Fortnite map all the way to the other, actually going above the height of the rift in the sky. And honestly, doing this was one of the most intense, epic experiences I think I've had in a very long time. Number 19, covering up the crater. Now, I fully forget why we did this initially, but this is still one of my most viewed videos of all time. We decided to get a group together and in a real public game of Fortnite, cover the entire Fortnite crater from one side to the other. Now, this was one of the first giant build projects ever done in a public Fortnite game. Game. And for some reason, people loved it. There's just something so amazing about changing the map this much. And honestly, covering the crater was something that I think a lot of people like to see. All right, now we're going to move into a couple from the Marvel minigame. Now, when the Thanos custom mode was first added to Fortnite, it allowed for some pretty spectacular things. But one of the ones that went most viral on the internet was just all the ridiculous memes you could make Thanos do. I think there was something the internet loved about watching one of the most terrifying terrifying characters in the Marvel Universe do a bunch of ridiculous dances that people just love. And when the Thanos game mode returned for a second time, it also gave us another great OG way to break the game, which was the Iron Man myth. Now, this was another meme that I think we showed for the first time on this channel, which was that you could use the Iron Man mythic in this weird combination to effectively fly infinitely, which Epic definitely didn't intend. And we used this to go so far beyond max height and get so such an amazing win that we ultimately made a bunch of different Thanoses quit the game. Now, Epic's getting better and better at stopping these game-breaking things from happening. So honestly, I doubt we're ever going to see something this cool again. All right. Now, number 22 is a moment that is actually quite personal to me. And this was in the first Fortnite Pro app. Now, this was the first huge event where Fortnite flew a bunch of creators and a bunch of celebrities out to play in a giant tournament. And in one of the final zones, I found a shopping trolley at the top of this hill. Now, all I wanted to do was push it off the top and build a giant ramp as I was riding it all the way down to the ground. All the commentators were cheering me on. I was so close to achieving it, but I didn't manage to push quite hard enough. And Courage, who was built just above me, saw my failure and decided to shoot me before I could fix it. Courage?
I've never forgiven you for that. All right, now number 23 was a chapter one record that was effectively unbeatable. During the initial rocket launch event, people were building platforms all around the map to spectate. However, in these OG events, Fortnite didn't yet have a way to stop people from eliminating each other, which this player decided to exploit to a pretty spectacular result. Now this troll went to the bottom of one of these giant platforms, managed to destroy it, and in doing so, dropped a huge number of players to their death, setting what I believe remained as the chapter one elimination record all the way until the end event. All right, now this wouldn't be an OG moments list without reciting the amazing, the legendary instance of Chappadoodle. Now, some of you OGs probably remember this, but for the ones who don't, I was playing around a Fortnite and saw some interesting things happening at the edge of a cliff. And well, honestly, it's probably best just to let the clip play. Enemy spotted. What the hell? Why was he, he was like driving his golf cart over the edge. <laughs> He's suicidal. We gotta save him from himself. And, oh no. <laughs> oh my God, that bullet spread was so lucky. Was he trying to like drive it onto, oh, there's a guy down there. Oh, there's a guy down there. Oh my God, what the hell? They must have been like fighting and had like a fall. Hey dude, he's just looking at me. Dude, he must've run out of mats. He must have fallen down there and run out of mats. That is way too funny. All right, boys. He looks friendly. We're going to execute a rescue mission. No man deserves to die alone off the side of the map. Although I think we might have to do some actual spiral staircases here. And there we go. Oh, my God. Dude, it's moments of friendship like these that really make Fortnite Fortnite, you know? They're the things that make me think that I might not actually be a really horrible person. Maybe I am going to heaven after all. Okay. I hope God's watching right now. If anything's going to get me into heaven, it's moves like this. And I'm really screwing up these builds right now. Come on. Over here. Oh my God. We're actually going to get him. I've got enough mats. If this dude kills me after I save his flipping life, not going to be happy. Wait. Am I out of mat? Oh no. It's at the build limit. You can't build lower. That's why he's stuck. He has mats, but he... Oh my God. Guys, I, I I have a plan. Well, it's not really my plan because I think the other guy thought of the same thing. I think that other guy was trying to save him too. We got to drive the cart off the edge and then he can bounce off the roof and use that to bounce onto our stairs. Oh my God. If this isn't the most elaborate rescue mission I have ever executed, then I don't know what is. Okay. That must have been what this guy was doing. Okay, here we go. This, this could hurt. Oh God, dude, if we slide off the edge. Oh no. Oh no. I'm coming for you, boy. I'm coming for you. Hold on. Musi's here. Oh, no. We killed Chappadoodle. Oh, my God. Well, that was a botched rescue operation. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh, no, 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 no. Was the rescue plan actually going to work? Oh, my God. It actually would have saved him. That is the saddest thing that has ever happened to me in this game. Number 25 is another glitch that I absolutely love, which was that you could make almost any emote that spawned an item in your hands become ridiculously huge. I'm talking giant popcorn. I'm talking giant, well, honestly, pretty much anything. And the best part was that every player in the server saw the same thing, which meant that you could use this for some pretty great trolls. Now, speaking of ways you could confuse people, number 26 was the invisible flying builds meme. Now, obviously, Fortnite has had its fair share of glitches, and one of my favorites was a way that you could actually turn builds invisible. And me and my friend used this to create what looks like a literal plane floating in the sky. And I mean, yeah, that's, that's kind of it. It was a plane, and it floated. It looked cool. All right, now number 27 is probably something a lot of OG Fortnite YouTubers remember, which is before creative mode was in the game, we had to build all our custom games and death runs and everything else within Playground. What this meant is we would spawn into the map and we had a limited amount of time to run around, collect all the materials we needed, all the items, all the traps, all the resources, and then quickly construct a death run course before then having a limited time before the map ended to record it. Now, this led to some 
pretty scuffed looking death run maps, but honestly, I kind of think we made it work. Number 28 is probably, again, one of my favorite oversights from Epic, which was the mounted turret health. When these things were first added to the game, Epic wanted them to be something that couldn't just be easily shot out by enemies. So to do this, they gave the base of the turret an obscene amount of health. And obviously, we had to find a way to abuse that. Now, there are a ton of videos on this channel where we would lock players in the basement, place turrets over the one entrance to that basement, and watch them slowly die to storm. And honestly, even if you did eventually pickaxe through the obscene amount of health that these turrets had, you could then repair them back to full health almost instantly. This is probably honestly one of my all time favorite Fortnite trolls and I just hope there's a way to bring it back one day. All right, number 29. We've already looked at glitches that let emotes become huge, but what about players? Now this was another glitch that got fixed pretty quickly, but Honestly, I think it was one of the most spectacular videos we've ever done. So instead of even just talking about it, just, just look at this. Yeah, do a nice backflip for us, Vic. Oh, beautiful. Oh, you love to God. see it. You love to <laughs> no. see it. Wait, can we dance? Who's got... Oh, whoa, you can. Whoa, you did it for a few frames there. Oh, there you go. Um, oh, no, Alex uh, got it. Uh, uh, we got a uh, giant llama bell. Oh, dude. <laughs> Whoa! 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 Like stupid huge? You're Bro, oh, dude, Whoa. you're like you're like beyond max what? height. You're beyond max what? height. What? what have you done? Wiz, I don't know how to Whoa. tell you this, but I think that you <laughs> might struggle to hide. Yo, that is the thickest default I ever did see. Attack on Titan. <laughs> <Whoa>. <laughs> And now it's time for number 30. This isn't something that none of you will know about, but if you remember experiencing the trauma that was the broken Infinity Blade, then you are definitely an OG. When this item was first added to the game, it raked absolute chaos on the entire Fortnite community. You had extra health. You could run faster, you could fly further, you could build while using it. Basically, if someone got their hands on the Infinity Blade when this thing first came out, they became completely unstoppable, even in competitive. Gonna get another one here. He's gonna be trapped inside of the storm, though. Does it matter? He can change. Oh my gosh! To be right now, Gets he another elimination. Else. He's on a killing streak. Oh my players. word! He has picked up one. eight eliminations, <laughs> oh ten eliminations. He's a god! Anymore. This is Psalm's world, and we are just merely living in it. Oh, the guy fell. That's They're number all just 11. Falling. Because he's creating so much carnage. Here's he's creating so one. much carnage. He got another one. Bizzle. The Infinity uh. Blade is too good. It's so powerful. He is jumping on every single player here, connecting. Does he need to build? Finally. It doesn't even matter. Finally, the carnage concludes. Now, after a huge amount of community backlash, Epic finally ended up vaulting the Infinity Blade, and the community was saved. But guys, these are 30 of what I think are some of the most OG Fortnite moments. Let me know if there's any I missed out on in the comments down below. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.